Uh, Sturkin or Styrkin. Uh, I think it's three blocks. I think Sturkin. They say, I accidentally catch the stream sometimes, apparently. Oh. Uh, after buying into Warhammer 40k, when you first showed it, I've fallen off, as they don't seem to have a vision. Mm. Random scales, law changes, rewriting, even new books. Mm -hmm. It's too much. You're not wrong. What's your favorite edition of 40k? Yeah, I feel like we've warned everyone about how all those problems with Warhammer, though, right? I, I wouldn't even say so much we've warned. I'd say we've whinged every single week about it. <laughs> we've uh, relentlessly complained about all these problems with yeah. the game. Um, I, hmm. I don't know. I, I like a lot of the changes they've made to this, this yeah. version. Like, Ninth Ed, I like how... I think... Eighth Ed had the most potential. Because Eighth Ed's when they did a big, a big reset. Yeah. And it felt like, oh, this is where we fix it. And then Ninth Ed has kind of gone, let's just do five editions worth of overcomplication in one yeah. speed run. Um, but like the, the change from Eighth to Ninth, where they made the, like the missions and yeah. like actual point scoring. Scenarios and... The actual, yeah, the scenarios the, and the missions got way better in night. Like, just the mechanically what you're doing to mm -hmm. win the game, I think that's my favorite mm -hmm. possibly it's ever been. Um, yeah, I'd agree with that. But the game is a bloated... Overcomplicated mess. Um, for, like, nostalgia, it's probably going to be, like, third or fourth. Um, yeah. Like, Did you play like, much first or second? No. No, not really. Like, I, we got into it in uh, the Space Marines vs. Orcs, Ultramarines vs. Orcs box. That's where we started. Oh, what? A Black Reach? No, the... It was Blood Angels vs. Orcs, I think. Blood second? Angels vs. With the Cardboard Dreadnought. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was one. second. So, yeah, that's when I started uh, kind of playing mm -hmm. 40k. But I'd say... At that stage, we were kind of fucking dumb kids pushing models around. Yeah. Um, and it was only like sort of... When did City Fight come out? I think that's the time I remember enjoying Warhammer 40k the most. Mm, I wouldn't... I would argue that enjoying it the most doesn't mean it's the best edition. Yeah. But I know what you mean. Uh, yeah. When did City... That would have been fourth, I think. Um, oh, it was third. third. It must okay. have been near the end of third, I guess. Good. I think this is when I was playing the most... 40k. Well, this was around the same time as Armageddon and Black Crusade. Yeah. Which were both really fun global campaigns and quite interesting codexes. Yeah, that yeah. Brought out a bunch of cool armies. Um, yeah. But yeah. I agree with that. But I think I probably stopped playing maybe around the time that fourth was out. Yeah. And all we did was play you know, specialist games or just got really into Warhammer Fantasy and just... Same here. Because I just got sick of 40k because I didn't really like it. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't really like the rules very much. Yeah. Or, like, how the game mechanically worked. I'd agree with that. I played a little bit of fourth, but not much. And then started playing, yeah, specialist games. Um, and I didn't get back into 40k until 8th. I played... Yeah, it was 8th. When 8th came out. Played a couple of games of 4th and a couple of games of 5th. Didn't play 6th or 7th. And then got interested again when they did the big reset in eighth. Yeah, but I feel like they squandered a lot of the potential of that reset very quickly. Oh well, yeah, it just just ballooned up and it just feels like band aid after band aid on the same thing. Mm. Um. What was your best starter set? Uh, I was I I didn't play it, but I really liked Dark Vengeance because before this, all the starter sets were quite basic models that weren't mind-blowing. They were very much starter set models. But um, this one was the first time a starter set had fucking cool models in it. Um, Which one was Dark Vengeance? It was Dark Angels versus Chaos Marines. It was this one. Oh, these were the... Yeah. Because these Chaos Marines were a radical improvement like, over the... Those Chaos Marines are ace. Also, I really like those cultists. Those, this was the first time these cultists came out, and they're really good cultist models. Um, and it was such a varied box, because everything else was just, here's a tactical squad versus either some orcs or some Dark Elder or yeah. whatever. This has got, you know, you've got three bikes, you've got five Terminators, you've got a tactical squad, you've got 
like a librarian and a captain. You've got chosen and cultists and a dreadnought. It's like so much variety, mm. and the models are great. Um, this was a massive step up in terms of, of starter boxes. I think the second ed was the only 40k starter box I ever got. Yeah. What about me? I didn't get second. My friend got the second ed starter. I didn't have it. Um, I got the third ed one, but it wasn't good. The Space Marines and Dark Elder. Because um, Dark Elder models were real bad. Those Dark Elder models are fucking golden. And the Jungle Trees were real bad. Oh, too. it's so good. That might be the only one I ever got. I don't think I've bought another starter set. No. Nope. No. Nope. Those are the minis, but not the, the jungle trees. Oh, that battlefield terrain sprue. I, think I like the good. corner. The ruins were good. The ruins are good. Those <laughs> trees are kind of jokes. Um, just a bunch of fucking Dark Eldar. Dark Eldar boys. What else was good? The um, yeah, those blocks. Remember the battle for McCrag? That had the, the crashed Aquila plane and that the pilot? That was a cool... Uh, Probably doesn't hold up now. Um... That Crash the Quiller piece of terrain and the fucking nerd with his... Um, oh, yeah, his little box. Uh, box that was, of that was seed. A, a cool... This was a really cool... This um, Aquila, I think, goes for like quite a lot of money on eBay these days. Yeah, like it's an ace. Ace bit of terrain. Yeah, yeah that's like a fun fun little box. Um, and the little uh, spore, spore poopers. The oh, yeah. Spore you, buttholes. I like the little spore poopers. Yeah, I tried to get one of these crashed Aquilas, but I just couldn't find it for a reasonable price. Mm. There it is. Oh, that's nicely painted one. Mm. Very nice. Um, you're in your brother's first box. A lot of people are saying Black Reach was their first one. Is that that's the Orcs versus the Marines? Orcs versus Marines. <laughs> that's yeah. the only way you could get Death Copters for a long time. It was wasn't it? You got quite good variety in that box actually, didn't you? Dreadnought Terminators, boys, knobs, Death Copters. Yeah, that's cool. Cool starter set. If you, really you know, you and someone else are getting into 40k, you get a great, great load of minis to make little, little starter armies. Mm. And the two synths have been really good. The, the, the modern ones, the one with the Necrons and the one with the, what's the current one? Oh, the, the Death Guard one with the Primaris. That was a good starter set. And then the Necron Marine one. Yeah. So pretty good. Generally, the starter sets are good. Are you saying the one that you hate the most is the third one? The one the, I had. The only one that you had. <laughs> I think oh, it's one man. of the worst, for sure. It's probably one of the lamest, yeah. But I'm pretty sure when that came out, that was like, it was like 40 pounds or something. God, I can't remember. It would have been one of the cheaper ones. It's certainly got the least models in it. And no cool terrain piece or anything like that. 